Hey guys, so I know it's been a really, 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 really long time since I last filmed. I think the last time I filmed was in June or July. I forgot when I last filmed, but I'm so sorry. I've been totally MIA. I've been really, um, I have no excuse, but I've been working and um, I've been trying to save up money for this upcoming school year. And um, I just had some family stuff and I was hanging out with my girlfriends until they left to go back to college and stuff like that so I was really, really busy so today I'm here to do a collective haul and let me tell you this haul is gonna be very very long so if you guys wanna grab something to eat take a seat get comfortable let's get right to it um it's gonna be a lot of stuff but a lot of the stuff that I got is kinda fun and um if I can find the links to some of these cause some of it's online shopping some of it's kinda of in shopping whatever if I find the links for all these things I will Definitely leave them in the link down below for you. And yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so let's just start off with this hat. I've been obsessing over this hat and it's like this like wannabe rag and bone kind of fedora looking thing. It kind of looks like a witch hat, but I'm really, really feeling it for the summer. Um, I got this actually from Forever 21. Forever! Um, and this one cost about $16.80 and I was actually this close to buying a hat exactly like this from Free People and it was like 60 bucks, and I was just like 60 bucks for a hat that I'm not going to wear all the time. That's a little crazy. So yeah, um, moving on. Uh, some of these things are kind of dirty because I'm wearing them already. But yeah, I think you should be able to find these things still in Forever 21. If I, I've seen that on the website as well. Um, anyways, so the, both of these are kind of just casual pieces, but I was really into that whole sports trend with the whole like jersey number and stuff like that, but I didn't want to pay that much to look like I was with that trend. Anyways, so first thing I got was this little crop top. And it's probably dirty, it has like armpit stains and stuff like that. Ugh. But anyways, it just says um, 36 and it's just a little crop top and it has this like little strappy thing in the back. So it's kind of cute, it's cropped again and um, I think this was like 1080 and it's a navy. And I just thought this would look really cute with some boyfriend jeans and some heels or really casually with some high-waisted shorts or, you know, you know, you know. So I got that. And then, again, another sports sports fashion piece um, is this t-shirt. You guys see me wear this in my um, do-it-yourself high-waisted shorts video. I literally wore this shirt, like, all summer. Like, I bought this and I wore it, like, every single day. It says 93 and it has really cute little straps on the side and I just really like the way this fits me it, it cuts me off at the right places and even though it is cropped it kind of does cover my stomach so it's not too revealing like th this one was really revealing so I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest wearing this out like I don't know to go see your grandma and grandma you know what I'm saying but yeah this one this is a little more you know covered up and it's, it has that little boxy kind of look and it's just a really easy piece to just throw on and get out the door so that's all my stuff in forever okay I'm just grabbing my bags one at a time so anyways okay so I finally invested in some nice sunglasses and um, I am proud to say that everything I bought in this haul I paid for for myself and anyways so these are my first pair of Ray-Bans um, so yeah I've been wanting these for like forever and ever and I finally just got the balls to just splurge on these and I mean considering that they are a higher end brand Ray-Bans are actually at the lower end of the spectrum but anyways I I usually buy five dollar sunglasses from Forever 21 or online I just this was this was this was really out of the ordinary for someone like me but anyways the reason why I got these because I've never seen aviators or bands that look anything like this they have that kind of blue fade on them they're gold and um these are the biggest size that they come in, I think. I forgot how they do the sizing in Ray-Bans, but these are the biggest size that they got. And these are just their classic aviator um, style, and then it has the blue fade on it. And let me put these on for you. It doesn't go in my outfit, so don't hate me, but I really like the way these look on I me. Mean, I feel like j -Lo or something. But yeah, that's how they look. And it says Ray-Ban right there. But yeah, I really, really like these. They're super, super light, and... Um, they have nose pads, so, you know, I got an Asian nose, so, you know, they don't slip and slide, but yeah, so, I've been really, really enjoying these, especially, like, when I'm out and about, they're just really cute to just throw on, and, you know, yeah, so, yeah, I pay, I pay for these myself, and if you guys are wondering, these actually retail for about 160 but my girlfriend works at Sunglass Hut, 
at least if you're watching then thanks girl but she hooked it up with a little discount so instead of paying 160 i think i paid 117 exactly for these so not that bad but yeah loving these all right so i just decided to grab most of my bags so i don't have to keep going on the floor and grabbing everything but anyways let's move on to h&m um i actually went there a long time ago they might still have these i don't know depending on your h&m but i did pick up some swimsuits or i just picked up two swimsuits from their um um, 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 the summer sale, sorry. You guys have probably seen me wear this in my summer essentials video. It's this one with the, um, the brown, brown and orange fringe. It's a little bandeau top. Ugh. But yeah, I'm still wearing bathing suits, guys. Like, it's, it's summer all year round in California, so I'm still rocking these. And then I just got this plain black one right here with a little halter. Um, I think both of these are like four bucks or five, something like that. And then this piece I was really, really excited for, and I've actually seen, um, a lot of people wear this, like, at the mall and just when I go out. And it's from the Divided Line, and it's this little, like, baseball t-shirt. You guys probably saw me wear this in my DIY video again. Um, sorry, I'm too lazy to button up, but, yeah. It just has a, a B right here in, like, script writing, and it has pinstripes, and it just looks like a baseball tee. And it's really, really cute to wear casually, and it just makes you look like a total, you know, you know. And I think this one was a little bit expensive. This baseball t-shirt was, like, 24 26 something like that. Um, sorry, I kind of don't remember the price. It's just because I already wore these. Um, anyways. So, and then I bought these two maxi dresses from Windsor.com. And, um, if you guys don't know what Windsor is, it's kind of like an equivalent to, like, Forever 21, that type of thing. Um, but I still haven't gotten a chance to wear these yet, but I will soon. And you guys will see why I bought these, because these maxi dresses are so fly. So, the reason, okay, so, ugh, I'm stuttering. I haven't filmed in a while, sorry. Anyway, so I got this navy pinstripe maxi dress it just it's long but the thing the thing that sold me on this was the low back right here you guys can't tell but it's it has like it's basically backless and it just looks so fly on and yeah the only thing is though with this is that you can't wear a bra or you're gonna have to wear pasties or something uh, my trick if you guys don't want to wear a bra and you or if you want if you guys want to wear something backless without wearing a bra put band-aids like this on your nips Girl, it works. It'll work for me, anyways. That's how I, that's how I rock this. I just put no, I just put band-aids on my on my nipples, and it covers them up. Anyways, that's a little tip for me. But yeah, so I got this um, dress, and this one was original. Okay, well, actually, I got both of these on sale, which is kind of cool. So originally, this retails for thirty six eighty at Windsor, and I actually paid twenty bucks for this. Woo! It was on sale. But yeah, I think they do still have this, and it also comes in like gray, black, and like a turquoise color but I thought the navy blue was really really cute because it kind of gives that whole like nautical look so yeah that's why I got that one and I kind of bought one that kind of looked similar just because they're both striped but this one's cut a lot differently and it's made out of different material that one that I just showed you was made out of cotton this is more of a chiffon type of material and again it's like the pin stripe well it's more like chevron stripe I guess and it just looks like this, and it's black and white, and it has a really low back again, but the thing is that there's a little ruffle right here, and it kind of goes into a deep V in the back. It's really, really pretty, and um, a little more easier to wear. You can wear a bra with this one, and yeah, anyways, it's just another, another maxi. But yeah, totally fabulous. I'll probably wear this to school. Um, but yeah, I really, really love this. It's light and fun to wear, I guess. Um, so if you guys didn't watch my Justin Timberlake vlogging haul, a uh, haul, what the heck, vlog, I went to a Justin Timberlake concert featuring Jay-Z this summer, and I went with my best friend, um, Bianca, and it was amazing, and, um, I, I'm just gonna show you my little souvenir from that concert, but the thing is, okay, so originally when I went to the concert, I actually bought a t-shirt with Justin Timberlake's face on it, but then I was thinking, because I actually saw him back in 2007 when he released his Future Sex Love Sounds album, and I actually have like two t-shirts with his face on it. So, and I was thinking about it, I honestly don't wear those out because they look kind of cheesy. So I wanted to pick out a t-shirt that I would actually wear out. And I got this suit and tie t-shirt from the concert and it's, I think it's so cool. It kind of has that supreme like uh, font to it or whatever. And it just says suit and tie and then on the back it has like instructions on how to like put on a suit and tie. Which I thought was kind of cool. I've never seen, um something like that so yeah got that and that was kind of a ripoff that t-shirt was forty dollars okay like it's a concert t-shirt so i get it like they're trying to make their money but i was like damn forty dollars for a damn t-shirt 
Oh my god, bam. All right, so um, let's do some Target stuff. Okay, 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 here we go. All right, so the first thing that I got from Target is this little cap, and it, you guys know I like hats. I have a thing for hats. Anyways, it's from the Acceleration line, and uh, it's this little like strap back volley cap. Um, it's like black bill and heather gray, as you guys can see, and I really like wearing this like when I work out and stuff like that. It's gray, so it kind of matches with everything. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, and this one was $12 or something. And yeah, it's just plain, simple, something that I would totally wear on my alley. And then I bought two pairs of shoes from Target, and one of them I wear practically like all the time because they're so cute and comfortable, but they're, they're kind of beat up right now <laughs> because I wear them all the time. And it's these wedges from Mastiano, Mastiano, I don't know. They look like this, that's the, the little picture. Anyways, so they're these wedges, and they're hella beat up. Excuse my French, but they're really beauty up. Because <laughs> I wear these to work. Um, but yeah, they're really, really cute. They have like the two-tone leather right here. It's, you know, a lighter brown and then black. And surprisingly, they do match with everything. And they're super comfortable. So I can I can literally go... I would I actually walked around SF, San Francisco, um, on cobblestone and the streets. I walked around these for six hours without stopping. And my feet were completely fine. So, yeah, I've been wearing these, like, all the freaking time, and I thought they were so, so, so cute. So, yeah, these wedges, and I actually got these on clearance. These actually retail for about $30, and I actually was going to buy them when they were full price, but then I waited, and last month I got them for $15. $15. Yeah, that's why they're, they're, they're a little, they're, like, you know, they're coming apart really quickly, but, I mean, nonetheless, I did get my work, my, 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 <laughs> My money's worth out of them, so, I mean, I can't complain they're $15 shoes, so, I mean, you know. But I still, I don't even care if they're beat up, I still rock them, but yeah. I think they're super, super cute, and I just needed some new shoes. I don't, if you guys didn't know, I'm not a shoe person or a bag person. I don't really, yeah, I, I really don't really care about shoes or anything. And then, okay, the this pair of shoes, this was kind of like a spur of the moment type of thing Just because they're so freaking cheap, I was just like, what the hell, why don't I just get them And they're, again, they're acceleration and they're like the strappy heel again I do have a pair of strappy heels that are real leather, but just guess how much I paid for these, okay So they look like this, I got them in a five and a half because my feet are hella small um, They have a silver side strap and then, you know, the little ankle heel, whatever So... <laughs> These originally retailed for $30. I got them for eight. I mean, eight dollars, like really, like eight dollars for shoes, like I had to. And they're actually pretty comfortable and they're suede, so they're a little bit different than the ones I have, so I figured why why the hell not, right? Eight dollars. So yeah, that's it from Target. Just got two pairs of shoes and a hat. Um, let's do Nike. So I've been off my workout grind for a while, and I actually went to Hawaii. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know I went to Hawaii, and I actually weighed myself. And turns out, I gained 10 pounds since February. I gained 10 pounds, and I've been off my... I mean, honestly, I didn't really notice it, because, I mean, 10 pounds... I mean, 10 pounds is a lot, but, like, I honestly didn't notice... Like, I didn't feel gross or anything until I came up from Hawaii, because I ate so much. So, I kind of needed motivation to start working out again and I'm actually I actually lost five pounds so I'm trying to lose the other ha, the other five so I can get down to what I was before um, I know it's really minor but I needed some motivation to start working out again so I bought new workout clothes and new workout shoes because my workout shoes were freaking old they were literally from when I was like in high school or like eighth grade it was disgusting so I went to Nike and Foot Locker and I bought some Nike gear because I figured you know what if you have cute workout clothes, it'll make you want to work out, right? Just like how I have, you know, cute clothes, so when I, you know, go out, it makes you want to go out because you have cute clothes. Figure the same thing for working out. Anyways, so I bought these dry fit um, yoga pants. Is that what they're called? I don't even know, but they're cropped. And, um, yeah, they have that little panel right there and Nike. Um, funny story, actually. I was doing squats, and um, I had a little mishap. And they actually tore in the butt because you guys know I have a huge butt so I actually had to ask my uncle to stitch the butt together <laughs> these are expensive too I bought these at the Nike outlet and they were like 40 bucks I mean that's I mean 
Considering that there used to be like 70 or whatever, that's like a steal, but $40 for a pair of yoga pants, that's a little too much. But it's because they're dry fit, and like I said, the dry fit line's a little more expensive, so whatever. Um, if you guys are wondering, I'm about in pants, I'm size like 5, so I took up a small. Um, yeah, they're a little tight in the butt area, not gonna lie, but the waist, you guys know a small waist, so it fits perfectly. I bought two new sports bras. Um, I actually run around in sports bras just because I feel like I have a decent stomach to run around in, so I like to work out in sports bras. Anyway, so I got this one. It's dry fit again, and it's just white, and it's just plain, and it has a swoosh, and it's from their, I think, is this dry fit? Yes, this is dry fit bra. This is $30. I mean... It's Nike, so I understand, but I was like, shit, $30? Like, ugh. these are actually full price. These weren't um, outlet items. These are, like, full price items. This one I got on clearance, which is kind of cool. It's dry fit, just like the other one. It fits just like the other one, but this one has stripes on it. But that was kind of cool. I've never really seen a sports bra that had stripes on it. It originally retails for $35. I got it for $20. Bucks. I mean, $10 off. Not, not that bad. But, yeah. And I got these in a small because I don't have any boobs, if you guys knew. I didn't know. Um, okay, so I bought two new pairs of shoes. Well, actually, one of them was a gift from my cousin, but the, for this, this, this is a gift from my cousin. I actually bought myself my own pair, but they're both the same <laughs> shoe. These are the, um, what are these called? I'm so bad with sneakers. I really don't know what they're called. Free runs. Oh my god, I'm so retarded. Okay, so yeah, I bought, she got me these. They're really, really cute. I think these are the four. I think these are the um, later edition or like past edition free runs. These aren't the, the most current ones, but I really do not care. They, they look really, really cute. They're just blue with lime green. Like a nice pop of color for when you work out. So I got these as a gift. Thank you, Daisy, for watching. Yeah, they're free runs again. Then this pair I bought myself because I'm just. You know, I'm like that. Um, and I actually bought these in kid in a kid size just because they were a little bit cheaper and my feet are really small to begin with, so I really don't care. So I'm about a size six and a half, maybe five and a half sometimes, depending on what kind of shoe it is. I have really small feet. I fit in a kid's five, if you guys are wondering. Um, and I got the plain, just, the, I think these are the four edition? I don't even know. I don't even keep track of what model these are, but I got... The free runs and black and white. Everybody, everybody has these, but honestly, they look so freaking clean and fly when you run. And these are super, super light. Like you literally feel like you're like running on clouds because they're so comfortable. And um, it has better arch arch support than my other shoes did. And they just they have they're really comfy and they're super light and they're really fun to. Um, run in. I also wear these to like run errands and stuff like that and I, you know, it looks cute when you wear shorts and a little t-shirt and your little free runs. So yeah, that was one of my Nike purchases and yeah. Anyway, so okay, so I bought this bag on eBay because you guys know I don't really buy bags. I kind of already went over that with you guys, but I really don't buy bags. It's just not my thing. I don't spend money on bags. I had one purse and it and it broke. Um, I'm trying to get it um, fixed, but I had an old Gucci purse. It was like a little circle, and it was my mom's from the 80s. Yes, it was from my mom's from the 80s. And um, the zipper broke. And it was really the small, I didn't really carry a lot of my stuff. So I just needed a bag to just hunk around my shit around. I don't really care about brand names. I really don't care. Like, it's just not my thing. So I got a knockoff of the Alexander Wang Rocco bag on eBay. And it has the little gold studs right here. And it's a really good size. I don't like it too big. I know big bags were really in, like, back in the day, but... I don't really care about it now, but the only thing was that it when I ordered this, I thought it was a cross body bag. It turns out it wasn't, and I was really really disappointed. And what I did was I actually took apart an old purse that I had that had a strap, and I just kind of made it my own. I know it's really really ghetto, but um, I just feel like such a okay. I don't know if this is me. Maybe it's because. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like a bitch when I carry it like this. Like, I feel like, I don't know, I just, I don't like carrying my bags like that. I just feel like a little prissy ass little bitch, so I like to carry it like this a little more, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds really weird, but I, I, I personally just, I don't like carrying it like this because I feel like I already kind of have a mean face. 
and like I don't know I just don't like carrying my bags like that so I just kind of added my own little strap to it so I know kind of ghetto but whatever it works um all right let's see what else I got okay so my birthday is coming up my 21st birthday actually and I'm planning on going to Vegas I don't even know what the hell I'm gonna do honestly but I know I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna look hella sexy like that's like <laughs> that's like my goal for the night okay and I'm probably gonna celebrate my birthday in two nights just because that's how you do when you're 21 or so I hear um so I bought two dresses and this is the first dress that I'm gonna wear and I actually bought this at a boutique in where I, where I work at it's kind of like a Melrose type of place in NorCal anyways so um I bought this dress and I got a really good deal on it because let me tell you so this dress originally cost seventy dollars and i was like seventy bucks for a dress like that i'm gonna wear once or i mean i'll probably wear this to vegas if i go to vegas some other time but i was like really it's seventy dollars for a dress i was like i'm not trying to pay seventy dollars for a dress so what happened was it was actually like on sale or something like it went down to 50 and then i signed up with their newsletter or something and then i got it for like 50. so i was like dang steal but anyways, oh, it is wrinkly. Okay, I hate peplum. Okay, like on me personally, because I have a really wide, I have really wide hips to begin with. So when I wear peplum, it just like accentuates it, and I just look like a freaking. I don't look cute when I wear peplum. Okay, but this is a peplum dress, and this is the first peplum dress that I have actually found that actually fits me, and I feel really good in. Um, this one is a little bit more classy than the second dress I'm going to show you, but nonetheless, these are both pretty sexy. It has a sweetheart neckline and it goes into a deep V. If you, you guys have probably seen me wear this on Instagram, but yeah, anyways. So it has a deep V right here and then the peplum. The reason why I like this peplum is because it's not, it doesn't flare out that much. It's just kind of like a little ruffly piece and then and it has that, that little bodycon skirt. So yeah, I thought this was really, really pretty. It looks really, really pretty on and I'm just really excited to wear this on my birthday. Um, now this dress, I will leave a link for it below, and I'll insert a picture of it somewhere over here, maybe over here, I don't even know, but it's a little skanky, I'm not even gonna lie, but it's just, I feel like I have the body to wear it, so I don't want to wear it. I know it sounds really gay, but I mean, I don't know, I mean, it's just kind of like, when am I ever gonna be able to wear a super skanky dress and get away with it? Your 21st birthday, duh! So, um, I have, I bought this dress. It's not gonna look like anything. It's literally, it's literally a piece of material, okay? Um, yeah, it looks like nothing, honestly, but again, I'll, yeah, you guys saw the picture. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's a little revealing. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't want my parents to see me in it, but let me tell you guys, if you guys have, the thing is, though, with, with this dress, it has nothing. It's literally a piece of material. There's no ribbing there's no structure to it so if you guys if you guys have the body for it get it but i mean it's not forgiving at all so i mean yeah that's all i gotta say about that one but yeah that one um costs about 45 i think and um it shipped to me really really quickly it shipped to me in like two days and it was just the standard shipping so i was pretty surprised with that and it was i got it from some boutique online and i didn't i've never even heard of it until i saw it on instagram but anyways, all right, we're getting down to the last bits and pieces of my haul, kind of ish. All right, so I bought my first UNF piece. UNF, um, you guys again probably saw on Instagram or maybe you didn't. I got it from Urban Outfitters, and I've been wanting this piece since I saw it on Karma Loop for ages and ages, and I actually saw it um on the UNF. What was it Instagram? I don't even know. And then I saw um, Ariana Grande in it. Oh, so cute and I don't know it's definitely a piece that's out there like I wouldn't wear this like to school or anything it's probably like gonna be like a special occasion type of thing but it's super like out there and if I feel like it fits me well and it's something very up my alley I like things that are a little bit weird not weird but you know you guys know how I dress you, you know I like I like a little edge so I bought the UNIF bunny jumper and it looks like this it kind of has like that acidic wash and it's kind of like overalls kind of it's kind of like a bustier and a high waisted short just put together um I really love the shorts how it's like distressed on the bottom and I just love the 
the wash of the denim and the little suspenders right here. And again, it's by Newton, if you guys couldn't see that. And this, <laughs> I got a really good deal on this bad boy. So, originally, this retails for about $150 to $200. Yeah, right. Okay, so, what happened was, I actually went on the Urban Outfitters website. I was actually thinking about ordering this full price, believe it or not. Um, and I went on the Urban Outfitters website. To it was originally retailed for $150 or $200, and I got it on Urban Outfitters on sale for $50. But, um, unfortunately, they don't have it on the rope site anymore. I think they ran out during their Labor Day weekend sale because it went down to $30, which I should have waited a week. And they had all they had stock in all sizes, extra small to large. I took up a medium just because I'm a little bit thicker on the bottom. Um, so, yeah, if you guys do decide to get it, it does run a little bit smaller. So, go a size up than you think you would. But, yeah, I got a really good deal on that, and I'm really, really happy about it. Okay, now for the last bits and pieces of my haul. Um, I have a huge Brandy haul, and then I have a little makeup spiel. But anyways, okay, so from Brandy Melville, I bought these Palazzo pants in this print, and it's really, really pretty. And if you guys don't know what a Palazzo pant is, it's like really, really long, and it's kind of billowy. I don't know how to explain it, but you guys will see it on. And I love these pants. I think they're so chic, and um, they're kind of out there. I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> I really like these on and uh, they were $28 not too bad and they're made out of the chiffon, chiffon material But the thing that's good about that is that you can't it's not see-through so it's perfect and I love this print so much You guys are gonna think I'm weird, but I bought the Jada dress from Brandy in the same print Just because I love the way that this print looks on me um, so if you guys have seen brandy dresses, they're just kind of like that baby doll look and it has the little back. It's really, 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 really cute. And this dress was... <sighs> Shit, $35. These are more expensive than the freaking pants. That's crazy. But yeah, I got this dress. And I just love wearing these. Like, I haven't worn that one yet, but I just love wearing it just as an easy, easy piece to just throw on. And then you're out the door. I usually wear um, both of these with those wedges I got from Target. Or I would wear it with those wedges I got from Target. Okay, I got another dress from Brandy. And it's, um, I forgot what it was called. But it's a double strap dress. And it has this really pretty sunflower. Or is it daisies? Sorry, daisy or sunflower. I don't even know the difference between flowers, honestly. But it has this really cute print on it. And it has double straps. And surprisingly, I mean, when I hold it up, it doesn't look like it has shape. But it does taper in at the waist, surprisingly, a little bit. So it's not that shapeless. Because um, the other one, the baby doll one, is a little bit shapeless. But, um, you know, whatever. Anyways, um, yeah. And it hits me right above the knee. It's really, really pretty. And it's very easy to wear as other brandy stuff. And let's see what else did I get. Okay, and then I just got a few basics for... You know, I love brandy basics. They're just, they go with everything, basically. Um, I just got this halter top, this gray cotton halter top. Very basic. It's cropped, and this was $15. Not bad at all. Uh, you know, I'd probably wear that with anything. And then I got their Chio top. It's like a little bralette. I'm surprised I haven't bought this. I have another bralette from them, but it's white. I wanted a black one I could wear with those dresses because it's kind of, both of them are kind of low back. And I needed something that was kind of like sweetheart a little bit. So I got their Chio Top bralette thingy. And it's caged in the back. So it looks really, 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 it looks really, really cool with their backless dress. Because it kind of adds a little bit more texture to it. I think this one was like 20 bucks, But it's actually really, really good material. And um, I'll probably wear this for a long time. And I usually wear bandeaus like this as a bra. I don't even wear bras. Because they're, oh I'm wearing a bra right now. But they're really restricting and I really hate wearing bras. Alright, and the last piece I got from Brandy is this beautiful chiffon backless top. It looks like this. It kind of has like a higher neckline. You guys will see me wear it. Um, and it has a tie in the back. And I think it looks really, really cute with those pants I got. And just any of my going out um, clothes. I, think it's, I just think it will just look really, really cute. And uh, this costs $21. Again, not that bad. And this is like a chiffoning material if you guys are wondering. But yeah. Alright, that's it for the clothes, and I'm going to end this haul 
with two makeup products that have pretty much changed my life. I have no idea what the hell I was doing without these, but I'm going to start off with the Ben Nye Banana Powder. You guys have probably seen this everywhere on YouTube. People rave about this stuff all the time, and you know why? It's because it makes you look freaking bomb, okay? I use this to set my foundation and to also um, set my under eye concealer. So what I do is I do my under eye concealer, and I pat this on top with like a wet sponge, and I just let it sit there for a little bit so it kind of sets into the skin. And uh, I do the rest of my makeup. I do my eyes, my eyebrows. And then the last thing I do is I sweep. So I dust a lot of this under very loosely so you can kind of still see it like you look like a crazy person. And then I just get a brush and then I sweep it off to kind of blend it into the skin. And it brightens the under eye area very, very well. I'm not sure you guys can tell. And because it's, this is yellow, um, it blends my foundation really in really well. So I'm a yellow undertone and I've been using translucent powder and I've noticed that when it oxidizes, it can either oxidize really, really like ashy or pink and this one just perfectly it just looks like my skin like it's flawless I love this stuff and um, I bought this for $10 on makeup alley makeup medley for $10 for uh, 1.5 ounce 1.5 ounce of product and this should last me a while I've been using this every 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 single day ever since I got it and I use a lot of it and yeah I love this stuff it's very finely milled um, you can basically use any under eye concealer, like cheap under eye concealer, and it'll just, it makes everything just look on point and flawless, and it kind of, it prevents my con under eye concealer from creasing and looking all cakey and nasty. Another thing is, I finally invested in a higher end foundation that I'm obsessed with, like I'm literally obsessed with this stuff, and it's the Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Foundation, if you guys are wondering, I'm about an NC35 and MAC, and I got it in a medium in medium 57 I'm wearing it right now I wear it every single day and this stuff literally lasts 24 hours um, I spent the night at a friend's house and I woke up my foundation was still looked intact which is really really crazy because you know when you sleep you kind of get oily and it's all nasty when you wake up but I looked I looked as good as I did the day I applied it and I have very oily skin and I I mean I still have to touch up like maybe every four hours but that's way better than every half hour. I, I usually touch up every half hour, but because of this and this Ben Nye powder, I touch up like every four hour, three or four hours now, which is like amazing for me because my face is freaking oily. But this Kat Von D foundation, it's super, super thick. It, it is a little bit harder to apply, but let me tell you, it makes you look flawless. Like I literally use one one layer. Usually when I use foundation, I have to use like two layers to like make it full coverage because you guys know I like to look flawless, but this stuff, I only need to use one one pump, and it fills my whole face. I can bring it down to my neck, and I mean, even if I didn't have the Benai Banana Powder, this foundation does have a yellow undertone to it, so it matches my my skin perfectly, and it just it just looks so flawless. And I mean, I know people who either hate this or love this stuff. I'm a lo I'm I definitely love this stuff, and this is probably gonna be my holy grail foundation for a while. Um, and yeah, the only thing that I don't like about this stuff is that it kind of smells. Like, if you smell it, it smells like paint, but, I mean, you kind of get over it, right? But, yeah, I'm really into this stuff right now, so, definitely, these two things, I will, like, these are, like, my everyday essentials now. Um, I'll probably do an updated eyebrow routine, because I know, I was looking at my old eyebrow routine, and I was like, damn, my eyebrows were hella thick. I actually draw them in a little bit thinner now, if you guys can't tell, and then I'm using different foundation and concealer and powder and all that stuff, so I might just do an updated foundation routine soon, but, yeah, my room's a mess because I just have a bunch of shopping bags. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And thank you so much for watching. I know it was really, really long. And I hope you guys have a great day. If you guys want more um, updates from me, please follow me on my Instagram. I'll leave all the links below. My blog, blah, 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 blah. If you guys have any requests, please leave them down below. I know you guys have been wanting lookbooks from me, but I'm sorry. They take so much longer to edit because I have to change my clothes and then film press play I'm a one woman show like I do all these things myself it's not like I have a camera crew or anything with me so it's a little bit difficult um so yeah but anyways I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching bye